Hey, orange one here. Um, I've got a bit of a problem. Yeah, I've been getting this message now, so I don't know if this is going to be the end of the series, like, right now, or what? What's kind of going on here? Oh, sorry, my keyboard's not even plugged in. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, so basically what I'm trying to do for this episode is try and get um, our boys to the south. So we've got basically the whole soldier squad here, and the whole royal squad here as well. And they're gonna go, uh, looks like Refugee isn't actually with them. Whatever. He's starving, so he's not even gonna be worth anything. Um, wait, Igor? Where's Igor at? What are you doing? Oh, wait, I was sending, yeah, you were actually going to go pick up our, our friend here. Let's let you go a little bit faster. Um, I think I'd say, yeah, you were going to go pick up Refugee. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, we we're gonna bring refugee with us. So yeah, we're gonna try and get down to the skin bandits and um, maybe from there launch our attack against uh, Catlon. Now, not everyone has cybernetic limbs, but oh no, the game's crashing. Ugh, dang it. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm just gonna leave refugee there. I don't know why that happened there. Um, I have I have been playing this a little bit on and off. I knew it's been a little bit unstable since I've gotten that message. So I think that we should be able to still get here just fine. Um, and I'll actually have Igor jo join up with these guys. I, I'm very surprised that we crashed that soon. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see why um, we have to kind of rush this at this point because... The game's basically telling me that the save is warped, which is a shame, because uh, I could go back maybe to a previous save and try and restore it. It's just too much work, though. So instead of getting every single person um, cyberdized like this, um, we're going to have to sell with what we got so far. Um, I did get attacked on the way, so we are going to be getting hurt a little bit. But I think if we just run and we just keep on running then we should be good to go. And like I said, not everyone's got cybernetics, and I actually have a ton of money to even buy some more. But one, I'm kind of done with this series, if I'm completely honest. And two, um, the game's just kind of not stable right now. Uh, Igor, could you attack that actually? No, Igor is too far away. I think I can outrun it, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% about that, though. I, I, I could send uh, Wheat over there to kill it. I mean, Wheat's got like 90-something stats, so yeah, Wheat, you could you could go kill that, right? Let's just wait up. Just wait up just for a little bit, guys. I'm just going to let Wheat do his thing. Good job, Wheat. Yeah, we don't need anyone else to get involved, really. Wheat's got this. With 90 in your stats, like, you can take on a gorilla, right? Yeah, totally. Flawless. Flawless victory. Uh, Igor, you're aimless now because the thing that you were trying to kill died. Whatever. Um, I'm just also looking... Yeah, we got some of the backpack here. I'm going to just grab the meat. Never mind, there's only skin there. I guess they don't have very much fat on them, those gorillas. Is that a, uh, yeah, it's a land bat. Oh no, that's a gorilla. Are there land bats in the gorillas? Um, are they, like, related? You know? And I'm, just because we're having so many stability issues, I'm gonna be saving periodically. I gotta do it, man. And so I'm, yeah, hoping to just kind of sneak through here and show you the appreciation that you all deserve because you're uh, beautiful people. <laughs> no, but in all honestly, guys, like especially if you've been with me since the uh, beginning of the series, huge thank you. Even if you've just watched a couple episodes, thank you so much. Like, I had no idea how successful this uh, Kenshi series was going to be. And it's really, it, it made my, well, I mean, the tutorials, I think, brought people in. But you guys have built a huge, huge thing with me here in terms of my viewership and actually being a YouTuber. Like, this 
this series, I think, brought the watch time in that I needed um, to really attract more people. And so you guys really helped me get to that 1,000 uh, subscribers like a year ago, and I completely 100% attribute that to Kenshi. And we're going to be getting to 2k soon, and you know, most of that's come from Kenshi too. Like, honestly, like, you guys have, like, made me so involved in my heart. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that I could do this. And, uh, and talking to me about, like, hyper reproduction. <laughs> Which, by the way, um, I, yeah, I think, did I, I, I've forgotten if I, told you this theory that the hive actually are genderless like the queen is actually like a prince and there's com they're completely agendered and it's just like a, a skeletal device that they've implanted in it um that changes something with how they're um they reproduce i don't know i don't fully pretend to understand it but i think that they are like hermaphrodites or asexual completely and maybe that device um makes all of the queen's offspring just infertile maybe i don't know i like my hyper conspiracy theories this game lends it to them. um but definitely um if they do have sex the queen eats the 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 prince that she mates with and I like to think that uh, no matter what soldiers uh, and drones, they don't reproduce at all. They're like completely born without even uh, like the ability to do that. You know, they may be born without genitals. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Yeah, like the the soldiers are the eunuchs of the hive, essentially. Well, not the eunuchs, because the eunuchs weren't like the fighters so much. I mean, they kind of were. I've been learning about, like, the Ottomans a little bit, and, like, they definitely had, like, some African eunuchs as guards in the palace, so. That's kind of weird, though, isn't it? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're a eunuch, you're castrated, which means you're not going to produce as much testosterone, which means you would not be as good of a guard in terms of strength. I mean, I totally get why they're doing it, is to basically main... Uh, prevent the, um, in that case, the harem from getting access to other fertile men besides the sultan, which, yeah, it's insane in and of itself, that level of manipulation that that society did. Um, yeah, just c completely insane. But anyways, where was the gang with that? Yeah, like, I get that it means they're not gonna, you know, rape or have sex with the who they're supposed to be guarding but like it seems weird to me it just seems so weird to me that humans like neutered each other and that was like not just a thing that was common in like one society but that was like on every like continent right even even in uh, the americas they did that i believe it's just insane I and mean, it kind of makes sense it makes so much sense to do in terms of a logistic side but just like as a living animal that like it makes me realize just how sorry pets how um inhumane such a th thing is is to take something's ability to reproduce away i mean with pets it's for their own good but like you can't do that to a person you can't say it's for their own good <laughs> i don't care. that's how you get eugenics right But I think that, you know, I think that, speaking of that, I think that's deeply ingrained in the world of Kenshi. We're, we're hinted at with the Shek, like the, and them being called the Guardians by skeletons, and them uh, being called beasts, and it's bestiality for humans to uh, be crossed with Shek, you know? Because they're definitely humanoid. They definitely, like, it's no coincidence. They have a common ancestor, and they've diverged through genetic um, engineering but it's just so weird with the hive how like the skeletons they don't recognize the hivers which means the hivers are a pretty recent thing most likely
Um, or the hive was like a secret society that's been watching them from underground or something. And like had the, saw the super advanced society and was like somehow managed to avoid it knowing that they existed. I think that could happen. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, if we're eight minutes. Um, oh, who's that? That's complaining. Is that you, pet? Yeah, it's pet. Pet's gonna be burning. All right. Well, we may need to rest up in a skin house or something. We'll try and go to, yeah, let's go to the skin house, and we'll see if there's a place for us to rest up in there. I think that we'll find something probably there. Oh, hold on. That freaked me out there for a little bit. Just gonna save it. To make sure that Genshi's happy. Oh no, guys, is that... Are those all destroyed? Is there no place for us to uh, hide in there now? Nowhere for Pet to wait out the, the rain. And we were gonna probably keep on moving anyways, but this is gonna be annoying for when we do decide to attack. I'm also keeping an eye on the horizon because if we get attacked by um, skin bandits out here, that could mean the end for us. Um, like, honestly, they can, they can just lock you down. They kind of did that to me in my old series. Um, once when I was down here, I think. I remember having some issues, basically, with them. Uh, just double checking that we're all in the clear. Yeah, it says that we're in the clear. Okay, cool. We should just basically do that periodically as we're moving through here. Um, that outpost, I bet that's skin bandits too, huh? We could send someone down. We could just do a little exploring. I don't think that we have the time to do that. Yeah, I bet if we go inside, yeah, it looks like the rain effect is still there as well. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop there then. We want to get to the ominous place, which means we have to go kind of like this way anyways. So let's just go into the Ashlands. Man, I am like honestly really nervous to go into these Ashlands. And I decided to not do the gas masks, mostly because of the issue that I've been getting with the save and then breaking down. It really is annoying. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, I don't, now we don't have gas masks, so we are going to have to avoid the smoke. But from what I remember, the smoke isn't like terribly difficult to navigate around, and we're going to have to do that anyways with the soldiers. So as long as uh, I don't get super unlucky and walk straight headfirst into a big thing of cloud, then I think that we're fine. And if that were to happen, I don't know. Might reload that. Because that's no way for this to, to end, you know? Like, I've been trying to do this uh, no save scum and Iron Man as much as possible, but, you know, I give myself some wiggle room where, where I feel it's necessary. Uh, we just right now need to get pet out of this acid rain. We'll deal with the, the bad air soon enough. I mean, the air, honestly, from what I remember, I don't think is that bad. And we move quick enough that we should be able to get out of that. Um, is it really still raining all the way over here? That doesn't seem right. I thought we were out of that biome. Um... That does not look like acid rain anymore, right? No. Okay, so we're healthy now. Cool. Alright, so we are kind of in the clear. Yeah, so like, see that air right there? We don't want to walk into that. But there's not very much of it, you know? Now the one issue is going to be like when it kind of spawns on top of you. And is that what I think it is? It is. Okay, so we, we got to keep an eye out for that, right? The Legion, they could they could be a problem for us. I want to avoid those patrols as much as possible because they, um, they've got crossbows. I mean, we can take a patrol, but we would be really, really hurt. I mean, they've got st stats in the 40s, just about 50, and they've got one, two, three, four crossbows. Yeah, so see, like those four crossbows would kill people right away. We actually have more people and much better stats, so we would win. But then where are we going to go? Where are we going to recover? How are we going to heal? You know? It would just not work, essentially. 
Okay, so we are... I'm just trying to take in our surroundings. Uh, there's a Legion patrol right there. There's a smaller group right there. That's a Screamer unit. So we need to be cautious of that. And I just want to look over this hill. But that looks good to me. Man. We're just barely in this place. And there's already two Legion patrols. We're going to have to really be... Um, just super aware of everything. Uh, the Legion patrol right there is kind of turning to the right. That's not where I would like you going, but I don't really have much say in that, do I? Um, yeah, I want to go like that away. So actually, I think you going there is fine. As long as we just maybe do a little bit of a wider berth. I also am concerned that, like, there's going to be something behind these ruins that I can't really see. Uh, yeah, like, who's... Oh, yeah, so there's a spider right there. Iron spider. You know how it is. I got really freaked out for a second there. I thought the Legion had found us. Okay, but we're fine. Let's go over here. I just really don't want them spotting me. I mean, that actually, that Screamer unit, I don't know if they have any crossbows, so I think that we wouldn't die. I'm just le not looking forward to um, getting hurt, you know? If we go here, how are we doing? Yeah, we're completely hidden. Yeah, they're... They're kind of far behind us. I don't think they're going to spot us from that far away. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hold on. That's bad air right there. How's it moving? Which direction is it going? Yeah, that, that patrol over there is, is kind of coming my way. Kind of coming my way. Yeah, that air is definitely making its way over. Can I kind of cut across, or what? Um, where are they now? They're actually just up there. Um, that other bad air is actually... <laughs> I feel like we're running straight towards it. Oh, now look, there's another patrol right there. Okay, this is actually going to be a little bit trickier than I thought to get past just all these patrols. I didn't realize there's so many of them. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a fallback. This is might take us the whole episode just to sneak past all these guys and get to uh, Catlon. Jeez. Did not expect that. And now we're back at this dead iron spider. Yeah, we just basically, by trying to avoid the screamer unit, um, just had to like wait, I think. The nice thing is that I can see them from pretty far away, and with the snow, that gives me quite a good amount of distance, you know? Yeah, this is going to take a while. <sighs> oh man, I think I just need to go for it and be a little bit less um, hiding. And we're fast, right? How fast are we, actually? I'm just kind of curious. Because it's telling me the speed that they all can run individually. Who's my slowest person and how fast are they? How fast are you? 21? 21 is not very fast. I mean, it's, I mean, it is fast for, you know, the beginning of the game, but these guys, I don't know what their FLX is going to be like. Uh, 17. Yeah, we could actually outrun them. We could. We just wouldn't be able to do that if we got shot. Is the, is the problem. You know? Um, I think... Yeah, is that a group right there? Yeah, there's just so many groups of them, actually. When we're not just sprinting through here with Silas, this is actually really tricky to get through. Huh. Without being spotted. I mean, I think we could just kind of follow this patrol, the Screamer patrol. 
It actually doesn't have it, or it has one crossbow, right? Is that a crossbow? No, that's not a crossbow. Okay, so they actually don't have crossbows. So even if they saw me, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It was a group of them that was like up there though, like a bunch of thralls. So we do need to be a little bit more careful. Can I please get around this junk? Uh, this is like, seriously, ridiculous. Okay, now I'm getting a little nervous of how close we are to those screamers and the bad air. I'm, like surrounded by bad air. Can we go around it, please? If I like actually go down, yeah. I think that I was kind of looking at the scale of things and I was like, why are you going so slow? They're not going slow. We're just, we were really zoomed out. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. You seem to be okay for now. Should be able to get to the ridge. Uh, there is a group right there though. Yeah, we want to be careful with that. They could, they could ruin our day. How's the screamer units? I can't see them. That makes me nervous. Where are those screamers? Well, they haven't seen me, so I think that we're okay. As far as I can tell, they're not at this ridge. Uh, they almost are being spotted, though. What is with the save successful? Yeah. Where are these dudes? They're over there. Uh, we're kind of in the red. Okay, I think we're in the blue now. Good. Yeah, it looks like that we're okay. This someone's been spotted. George. You're not actually... You, wait, hold on. What? 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 Who's, who's about to see us all? All the people over this way? Uh, that is bad news for us. I don't know what to do here. Kind of stuck between two groups that can kind of see us. It looks like that group, though, is more likely to see us. By the looks of it. Man. <laughs> Talk about a rock and a hard place. Well, those those guys are going up that way. So I think that we'll kind of follow them a little bit. There's the Ash Dome 2, which is, I think it counts as like a village or something for them. So I think that's part of the reason that we're seeing all these guys around. Right? That's uh, that's unsneak. I think that we're okay for now. There's another group that's right there. Just double checking that we're still in the clear because that group is kind of close there. Yeah. Challenge of the undefeated moving towards the copper mine. Um, is that who is that? Is that the Shek? Yeah, I'm like not even gonna pay attention to it. Um I could tell the electrician and jig and the copper miner all to run over here. I mean we'll do that just in case, because they're probably gonna get wrecked any minute soon. Also, I'm doing a little quick save. Like I was saying earlier, I don't quite trust the game to let me get, get all the way here. This is taking a long time. Well, if I don't get here within the half an hour, tell you what, I'll make like some sort of cut and we'll figure it out then. Uh, we're getting a little close to that group there. but we're like maybe a quarter of the way to our destination. Yeah, guys, this is not good. We're about to get spotted by those thralls. Can you please back up just a little bit more? Yeah, cool. Um, the thralls, where are they going? They're going to the right. So could I go to the left a little bit and kind of like loop behind them? Would that work? I think that would work. Yeah, I think that we're kind of in the clear. As far as I can tell, I'm not seeing anyone else up here. And they don't seem to be bothering me right now. Okay. Looks good to me. We're going to have to kind of hang behind them, though, because I don't think that we're going to be able to go around them. 
I'm I'm just curious about the Legion here. Yeah, these guys actually are not too bad. We could actually just take them out super easy. They've only got like crummy stats. Well, actually no, some of them have like stats like 50 something. They got some decent stats in there actually. I take that back. Um, we're trying to go this way. We got some bad air there. I don't know how I want to deal with it. I think we want to... Yeah, let's just kind of give it a wider berth. I'm kind of having a hard time seeing its edge, to be honest, but I think it's like right there. Uh, and it's like coming straight for us, so we're going to need to outrun it. Okay. Uh, we are right, right by that little tower thing. Kind of crazy, actually. Kind of dumb. <laughs> kind of being an idiot. Oh man. And if that's how we're gonna go, that's how we're gonna go, right? If this ends up turning into a total quagmire and we just like just like die in this valley, then that's how Silas dies, you know? Uh what hold on. Who's seeing us? Who? I don't see the people that are allegedly seeing me. But apparently there's someone way up here who spotted us. Are, are they like here? Where are they? Apparently we've been spotted, but I just don't see the person. Um, No, now we're not being spotted back there. Okay, so we're clear. We're clear. Kind of. Flash, not really. Yeah, those thralls, I swear, are like on the verge of attacking us. What is up with you? Are you guys like, oh, you're stuck. I see. So some of you were facing the wrong way and you're looking straight at me. Great. Yeah. Ignore us, please. And if I needed to, I could probably run them off a little bit with Silas and then maneuver around with, with someone else. But man, we just like sprinted all the way into here and now I'm just like inching along. This is crazy how slow this is actually. <laughs> Let's just go behind this hill. They they won't see us behind the hill, right? I'm actually this is like a like Metal Gear um hivers, you know? <laughs> so if I want to go there, what where do they go? I'm just curious. Nah, I'll go this way. Let's see if we can kind of loop around this this group a little bit. I can navigate around, and that should speed me up quite a bit. So we will. Yeah, yeah, we're faster than you. We can keep you that at that berth too. Uh, don't turn in the direction that I'm going, please. Of course, you did that. They've been redirected to the ant hill. It's fine. I'm pretty sure the ant hill can handle them. But then again, we do have all of our soldiers and the royals away. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I know it's completely unnecessary because this whole game is probably falling apart after I leave. But, but... Man, that was weird, the colors there. Yeah, I just wanted to double check that gate was closed. Um... I don't know if... Yeah, we don't have our people on the turrets anymore. I don't, I don't know if I want to stick someone on the turret then. I'm gonna just let them do their thing and then they'll get attacked and I'll just pull as many fighters as I can at that time. If they do that within this episode, which they might. I think that that's definitely possible. Hey guys, please keep a wider berth of that. And I just love this biome though. It is so it is the definition of amazing or awesome or like what's what is it uh sublime it's like the definition of something that's sublime you're just like oh my god <laughs> you know okay i think that we're the clear i think that we don't have any groups of dudes looking at us or near us 
So I think that we should be able to make some progress in getting over there. Yeah, nice. So this looks like a nice place um, for us to push forward at. Um, a few iron spiders for us to, you know, get ate by. That's a huge group of them, actually. Look at that. It's insane. Like, honestly, that's like a gigantic group of iron spiders. Can I sneak past them, or am I going to have to, like, go, like, all the way around? I'm just asking for a friend. I think I'm going to have to sneak past them. Fort Monroe. I don't know what's going on with you. You're probably going to die, like, out in the middle of nowhere. Sorry. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> Death by not being bothered. Where are you guys going? Is there a path up this way or something? Are the spiders? Oh, the spiders are marching towards us. Yeah, our copper miner is being ate alive. You guys want to see it? Let's let's see copper miner being ate alive. Ah, oh god! Oh wait, you're not being ate alive. You're fine. And you're not fine. This thing's probably about to kill you, but punch it. Oh man, I feel bad. I, he's, I, as as entertaining as it is watching him fend for his life, um, I don't want these guys just getting crushed by that mob of spiders. Uh, where did they go? Oh, uh, what? Hold on, they were not there a second ago. That, no, not not cool at all. If you make them spot me. And then we have to fight them. I'm gonna be, be mad. Seriously? Okay. They were not there. They were totally not there. What do I do? I mean, I know I can crush them. I'm gonna... I don't know. I'm probably gonna navigate and get to uh, the, the big boss man himself and end it there. But I'll see you guys when we get to that point. Um, yeah. So um, after wandering the wastes, we've gone literally all the way around the ominous place and it wouldn't let me get any closer. And I've figured out basically it forces you to come up one way right here that has some of the biggest ruins in the game. And so basically, if you want to get to the Omnis place, you have to go through the biggest ruins in all of Kenji, which is appropriate, you know? It makes sense, is all I'm saying. But yeah, we're, we're pretty much at Catlon's uh, base. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is throw a couple people in, um, like Igor and a couple other heavy hitters like Reth and Wheat, and a couple VIPs that um, come to the top of my mind when, when we get there. Um, of course, we're gonna have to have Blake as our, our main person. Oh, it looks like you guys are getting attacked now. Is that by the, um, the whatchamacallit? Oh, they're going to the ant hill. They're not going to you guys. I don't know, whatever, whatever you're fighting, you'll probably be done with it any second now, huh? I'm not even gonna go down there, yeah. It was probably like a dog or something. Not worth it. So yeah, these guys are making their way up to right there, that center of that crater and that star shape. Now, I know a lot of people have kind of debated as to what this thing is. Um, it to me is, it seems like it's pretty clear. It's a, a was a space um, tower or space elevator, that's it. Yeah, it seems to me like it's a space elevator. Like, there's giant rockets here, there's definitely, this was like a, a pad or something for spaceships to be able to take off at. Um, or something like that, right? And given the elevated structure and the giant ruins, primarily in this one direction, I suspect that there was a tower that fell down here. Or part of it fell down here, or part of the station that was above it fell down here. In any case, I'm pretty sure that there was that elevator that's up there. Uh, we are so close, man. Do I have to really avoid this patrol? 
We're like seriously so close. Like we just need to go like in there. And then, then it's done. So I'm gonna just kind of rush past these guys and hope that they don't see me. I think that we'll be fine. They go pretty slow and we're pretty far away. And it's night. You know, we got a number of things going for us here. Um, and then, yeah, that's that right there is the tower that I'm talking about. I'll try and get a better view of it in just a minute. Um, no, please do not run straight towards the enemies that are coming towards you there. That's really dumb. I know the pathfinding can be a little wonky, but come on. Do I have to really go all the way around like that ways to avoid these guys? I think I'm going to. It seems unnecessary. It probably is unnecessary. But I don't want Catlon wiping my whole team. Not after so long. If it takes me a couple extra minutes to get there, so be it. I wanted to show you guys the entrance like to Catlon. Because I think I did that like a super long time ago. Right when the southeast part of the map came out. <laughs> the save was weird. Like it wasn't 1080 uh p it was like well it it was displaying at 1080p but it was only displaying on a quarter of the screen kenshi was is really weird for some reason with the what i've found with my um graphics cards and it they don't tend to get along um yeah there's this weird like almost like floating thing yeah is it floating it's totally floating it's not connected to the earth and then it just goes up like seriously it just goes straight up so it's like, well, that's coming down from something, right? So there's some sort of space station or something up there. I don't know. It's kind of hard with the skybox because you can't really see it too well when you're nearby. Um, can you? Yeah, not really. Okay, uh, I think you guys, can we get in here? Yes, we can. Nice. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not. Is this the ominous place? This is the ominous place? This is it? Oh my gosh! I've never looked down! Holy cow! There's a hole there. Where does that go? Is that where the hivers came from? Oh dudes, that's totally where the hive came from. It's my head cannon. I'm calling it Kenshi 2 if I'm right. I, uh, I demand an in-game character, Chris. You heard it from here. <laughs> Isn't that the guy the guy's name who made this game, Chris? I've forgotten. Off the top of my head. He's a I I mean I've listened to him talk. I love the dude. But I've forgotten what his name is. I mean really I know your work more than your name. That's what matters, right? Um So let's just take a little gander in here. I don't think that yeah, that's not the one. I'm pretty sure Is it this that has Catlon in it? It's, I think it's one of these guys, right? One of these these towers. I don't think it's this one. I think this is the minion tower. There's like a bunch of minions in here or something. Can't really see them right now, but it's weird because you'd think that we'd be close enough where we would actually be um, displaying them correctly. I don't know if we're gonna be able to rush in and fight Catlon then. Um, can we just just take a second, um, Silas? Can you just go scout out for us just a little bit? Just run up. Guys, everyone else back. Silas is the only one sneaking right now. And you can actually leave placeholder as well. If we need to, I suppose we can pull people out here. I would like to not have to do that, but we will if we need to. Um, I think we need to be inside the building to really see what's going on on the inside, right? Is that, isn't that that what's going on? And then we'll be able to figure out if uh, Catlon is in here or the other one. Maybe we should position ourselves in between the two? I don't know. I might be going completely unprepared into like the end game boss fight here. I don't know. Yeah, oh, 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 did the game crash? The game crashed. Okay, so we're back. Um, so the game crashed, I think, immediately right before this. And then I actually recorded a whole, like, 10 plus minute long thing after I'd imported the save. 
And when I imported it, it didn't change the damage settings back to the four times on the bleeding or the base damage. So we actually took out Catlon without a single loss. And I actually felt so bad. I, I pulled back a ton of my people. We're not going to do that this time, um, I don't think. But we're going to basically kind of get most of our people here. And then we'll select a few to uh, listen to Catlon up close. Um, Silas, you don't need to have placeholder, and we'll also dump, like, all of our backpacks. And we'll just kind of get ready for this. Um, I'm gonna basically pick my heavy hitters slash people who have been, um, loyal subscribers. Oh my god, look at how this all totally got borked. Where am I? Yeah, there's the royal squad. Um, I would like pet here and ref as well. And the others, I'm gonna kind of just put on like a hold order. I'm just gonna be like, yo, you guys just like hold your ground, you know? And we'll see how it goes. Um, I think, yeah, my friend, you've also recently commented on a video, so I'm gonna bring you up. You know, a little special treatment for the people who have been uh, important to this, this series. I mean, you know, everyone that has put a comment on these videos really, I think, has been important in, in the series. Um, but there's a couple of you guys that I really have gotten close to, and I wanted to treat you a little special with a little something special. Um, Igor, maybe I have you take a step back, and I'm just going to because he's probably going to start attacking relatively soon. I mean, not like right away. Um, yeah, let's take this off, and I think we're going to want you down as well. Yeah, so we're just gonna basically just get those last minute preparations taken care of. I don't know why you were carrying all that stuff. Yeah, I brought a ton of people here carrying like rocks and just like other junk that they like totally didn't even need in their inventory. Whoops. Um, hopefully you don't run out of that first aid kit. You actually look like you might, and you don't even have a first aid kit. Tell you what, beef. Give that to Oro. Oro needs that. Oh my gosh, Beanie doesn't even have a first aid kit either. Man, I uh, I could have prepared a little bit more. Um, if only the world wasn't like collapsing on us, you know. Um, now that I've imported the save, though, I'm not getting that weird little bug message. Uh, not, not bug message, like uh, the crash message thing. So, yeah. I think that the save's like stable again. But it, I don't know what exactly is all messed up. Oh my god! That wasn't Silas. Who was that? Um, well, Wheat's probably dead. Right? Yeah, so someone got in a hit there. Uh, hold on, Kyle. I want you guys holding back. Um, and then... Yeah. We'll just kind of see how it goes from there. Oh, actually, people got a number of good hits there. Wheat is definitely... Well, not, not definitely, but... Oh my gosh. We didn't even lose a single person. Okay, maybe we need to fall back and let him get back up if he's... That, I feel like that was too easy. He's gonna be rebooting. So why don't we put everyone on a hold order and we'll let him get back up and fight again. Because um, with his stats, he will be able to. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Do repairs on him. We're not ending this series like that, Catlon. I mean, yeah, I might add on to this the the super long version where it took us forever like seriously forever to kill him um because then yeah these guys rolled in and it was uh it was quite the fight um yeah i don't know should we should we uh face that group okay well that this is probably gonna end with the hive dying so, um, tell you what, Silas, do the honors. Kill the mad cat one. I actually haven't read that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does tell you that he, he became a dictator. There's no way that we're wielding that falling sun. So yeah, Silas just killed him. Um, guys, uh, go crazy. Um, Igor go especially crazy and get in there. Yeah, this is gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of red, I got a feeling. 
Um, Igor, yeah, attack like here. That is so many of them. That is crazy. I like snuck past them essentially when I came. Oh my god. Holy cow. Look at that. Okay, that maybe. Maybe this is a good ending to the series then. If we're able to fight our way out of here. Have we not had anyone die yet? I mean, their weapons, I think, are only. Yeah, they're not doing like lethal levels of damage. I mean, Igor's only getting seven or so da damage done to him. Okay, it looks like they are going to beat us. It looks like we are going to go down. And this will be the end of the the hive. Oh, man. I mean, Igor's doing, doing some work. The fact is, is that they might all die to Igor. And then, um, like, I don't know. Or maybe we... Uh, my friend, my friend goes off into the space program. I don't know, something weird there. I'll uh, we'll we'll see how it goes, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, people are gonna start dying. There's not really much we can do about it. I'm well, Silas, I don't think is actually gonna die from his wound. Yeah, I think that they could actually recover from this. Whereas these storm thralls, uh, they're not gonna recover from. Th Whoa, that is super crazy. The ones without the head. Um, just kind of seeing that, yeah, a lot of people are going to bleed out in the next, like, minute or two. Okay, this is an appropriate ending. This, I feel like, is a good way for the, the Hive to end its, uh, its series. Yeah, th I like this actually a whole lot more than the, um, the lower damage setting. It was just kind of boring. It was just like we just crushed that group when they came in. And, like, yeah, that was fun. That was cool seeing all that. And look, um... Nope, Oro's, Oro's playing dead. Oro's alive, you know. Maybe uh, maybe this uh, this group here will live to see another day. Maybe there will be a season two of Kenshi Hyver only. I don't know. Um, now, before you guys go, um, special shout out for a couple people. Blake, thank you so much. You're like honestly the coolest dude ever. If you don't know, not only is he... Uh, my first and only patreon supporter at the moment but he um he's he's just been really active on the discord and i asked if anybody who's new to the series wanted to record um who died and when seeing how you know a lot of people have died um and he just has done it for pretty much all of the series i think at the time of this recording he had taken a break recently but had said that he would start back up soon um, if you don't finish it, man, no worries. I just, I think it's awesome that we have a documented thing for like half the group, um, or half the, the series. Like, it's just amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's a good read. If you were a fan of this series, it's, you know, it, it might bring back some memories of the people that we lost in the battles that we were in. You know, it's, it's a, it's a good time, you know, honestly, it's a cool thing to read. I was thinking of putting on like a t-shirt or something for the merch, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah. So thank you, first of all, to Blake, other, um, people that have been really active recently is Trill. Thank you so much, Trill, for always, um, I think it's, you go by TC links, I think on, on YouTube. But you've always been super active, always putting a lot of comments, talking to me about stuff, responding uh, when I ask questions, like, you know, just being awesome. Um, then there was also, um, who else was there that, had, my friend, you came back recently and you just like put a comment on a video like super recently. So um, can we save my friend? Can I just send someone up there? Because he's, he's going to go pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, are you are you going to medic on them? It looks like everyone's actually trying to medic now. Okay, cool. So maybe someone will go out to my friend. Yeah, it looks like Jarlsberg and Silas are starting to make their way out. Okay, so maybe we should have gotten up a while ago. It looks like we could have done that and maybe saved a couple people. Eh. I'm not going to play this game anymore. But I was thinking about putting the, like a zip file of the save game and putting that on like Dropbox or something. And I was considering putting like a lock uh, behind that, like a page, like you had to be a Patreon member. But I don't know if I'm going to do that, honestly. If you guys want to continue the adventure of the Hive, I don't see any 
uh, harm in letting you do so. Um, so yeah, that's that is how the hive um, conquered the great Catlon, the Mad Catlon. We uh, we freed the world from a great dictator, and once again, the world democracy can rule. <laughs> We're like democratic crusaders, essentially. Um, yeah. So Silas, good job. Not only did you free free the world of um, a hive queen. And gave a uh, free will to the southern hive, but you uh, you freed humanity. You uh, took out the great Catlon. You know, you even have it. Yeah, you've got it in your backpack as well, right? Because I had you take it out. Yeah, so that is uh, that's it. Thank you for joining me, you guys. I'll see you around hopefully. If not, thank you uh, for uh, spending your time with me. It's been a blast. It's weird saying goodbye. <laughs>